Man, I should have had my microphone on while I was doing the announcement for the uh, starting lineup for each team. Hey, I'm going to need a copy of one. Welcome to tonight's game. We're in the academy. We'll be taking on Deer Creek Warriors. We had to start the game early tonight because, as you see, the field, well, I don't know if you can tell, but the field has been really wet. And the game was supposed to start at 6, but we had to bring it on down to 4. We we'll swapped the high school and the JV game due to more inclement weather coming in. Good word, Mark. That was a nice word, wasn't it? I heard it on the radio coming home. Oh, my God. I don't know what it means. I hope it ain't bad. <laughs> Good thing I didn't have to read it. Yeah, I'd probably said end climate or something. Well, I think that's how it's spelled. <laughs> you know how we southerners. That's, yeah, that's right. And look, Siri like don't that. understand nothing us southerners say. No. Huh? <laughs> oh, don't forget to mention the. The golf team is going to state. The golf team qualify for state today, which is going to be next week at it's Canton right. Country Club. Oh. It's going to be the 22nd. The 22nd. At the refuge. At, at the refuge. I was close. Well, about 30 miles off. Maybe. Yeah, you didn't give me all the info information. Info you just made yeah. it up as you went. Yeah, I just made it. Hey, you got to have live sometime. I don't know what that means either. I saw that on TV. Who is number three? Braden Smith. Braden Smith. Batting first for the Warriors, number three, Braden Smith. Hold oh, the umpire did show up. <clears throat> In there. Yeah. Now batting number three, Braden Smith. He's going to be pitching tonight, too, is that correct? <laughs> oh, he's watching? Here's the pitch. First pitch. Oh, that was almost a strike. Ball one. It was a good curveball. Second pitch is a strike one. Coach. That's ball two. Why didn't you say that? See, all you had to do is get close with a hand grenade. It's going to blow up. It's going to kill him anyway. Strike two. Two and two the count now on Braden Smith. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him for the first out. Now batting number 36, Layton Allen. What's this young man's name? Layton Allen. Layton Allen. Layton Allen up to bat now, ball one. What position is he playing, Etta? He is playing left field. Left field. Fouls that one off for strike one. One to one is count. I'm making my own list as we go. Let me see that list. I'll, I'll pass it back to you. I'll pass it back to you. I'll pass it back to you. On the, about the third inning. I'm doing good. I'm fixing that you're going to be looking for the next player's name. Foul ball, strike two. Foul the back. Straight back. Oh, that's not a, I didn't mean to put it out. I meant it was a strike. Didn't have my glasses on. <clears throat> Woo, that was real close. Ball two. Ball 
He says a little outside. It must have been just a skosh. Just a skosh. Money pitch. Hits it right back up the middle. Oh, it took a bad hop. Took a bad hop. And, and hit Bryce. Uh, I've got, I'm having to do all this too. Sitting over there eating cheese and crackers. I'm going to talk about somebody. A little bottle of wine. A little bottle of wine. Oh, she got plenty of wine over there. You don't hear wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Ball one. This is Bo, uh, Bo Ray. Number 10, Bo Ray, the catcher up the bat. Got a man on first. Here's the pitch. Dribbles it. Pitcher's going to take it. Throws it to first. And he gives him a first. But he did advance the runner, but he got the second out. A good hustle by Ethan Shanks. But about now, number 24, Hayden Smith. Are you writing legible? <laughs> see, see how legible see how legible mine is? Yeah. There's a pitch. Woo! Strike one. Got him with a little old wrinkle. You see it, Joe? Kind of wrinkling in there. I'm a big old wrinkle. Yeah. No ball. One strike. Strike two. Outside corner. Forget the curve, Ricky. Throw him the heater. There it is. Ah, down in the dirt a little bit. Ball one. Thanks, Etta. I got you. Fouls it off. Back on the girls' softball field. Hope it don't hit my truck. One ball, two strikes is a count. To Hayden Smith. Curveball hit to the third baseman. Oh! And hopped up, went between his legs. Not gonna get him at home. That's gonna score a run for Deer Creek. Now batting number fifteen, Grant Tolliver. What about now? Number fifteen, Grant Tolliver, the third baseman. They've got a man on second, two away. First pitch is a strike. Got him on the corner. Oh, what a pitch. Got him with the old breaker. What are you going to come back with, Joe? Knuckleball. Don't nobody throw a knuckleball no more, do they? Oh, he's staying in third. He's got to go back. Hit by pitch. Gonna have runs on first and second. Zev Woolley, number two, your center fielder coming up to bat now. I like the pink bat. Just a little outside. Just a skosh. It was just a little bit outside. Pitch. <coughs> I don't know how it missed him because they caught it right behind his head. It must have. I don't know. Don't know how it missed him. I'm glad it did. Two balls, no strikes. What you got there? Some nana pudding? <laughs> Three balls, no strikes. 
I just met it. Hmm. I had a pitch. It's right. You owe me a you owe me a burger, Edda. I didn't say nothing. I, that's a standing bet. Oh. <laughs> Whether you want or not, a standing bet. He's gonna go. Foul ball. Hit somebody on the toe. Kicks it back to the infield. Three balls, two strikes now to Zeb Woolley. We got a house. Got a house. They could be moving on this pitch. I would try to pick off move right here. Dead ball, they got to go back. Oh, they can't go back. Wow. <laughs> no empty faces. Hey, it hit him in the face. Did it really? It hit him right there. Oh, I thought it hit him in the elbow. Uh, it hit him in the face. Like right on that cheekbone, it looked like. He's going to have a black eye tomorrow. Whew. Hope it's all right. He's probably been hit with a right hook about the same spot. Now, batting number 13, Luke Ray. That's Bo Ray's brother. It might be his cousin. Which one do you think it is? <laughs> At the back now, second baseman, number 13, Luke Ray. Bases are loaded. Uh oh, let me get this off of there. Ball one. Anybody that's watching, if you look right at the very top of the scoreboard, we got a uh, ball two. Got a little Bible verse up there. I'm going to try to put one up every game. And if you can, uh, if you can figure out what I'm doing with it, We'll give you a ten dollar gift card to Coleman's Steakhouse. Ten dollars? That might buy a Coke. I die. <laughs> you wanna? Oh wait, Ella made it twenty five. She just donated fifteen to go with it. Oh, well we're back to <laughs> we're back to ten again. Ball four. <laughs> Walk in one run. Score now two to nothing. And Ella, you can't you can't you can't be in because I already told you. Coach goes out and talks to the pitcher, Mr. Shanks. Number 11, John Fur Coat. <laughs> John Fur. I'm just, I'm just playing, John. Is a DH. Now batting number eleven, John Fur. All right, base loaded, two to nothing, two away. First pitch, ball one. That's bother me. Flapping around, that looks like something, a wasp or something. A wasp. One no to count. Oh, yeah. That's a strike. One to one to count. Good one. There it is. Ah, a little outside. Mommy. 
Probably gonna come back with a little curveball here. Oh yeah, oh, a little high. That's the wrong one. Got a full count. He ought to step off the back of the mound and throw it a third. Walks another one in. Off the bat, number seven, Joseph Terry. What about now is your right fielder, number seven, Joseph Terry. Base is still loaded. It's right one. It's going to be a pop up to the catcher right here. Kimberly Love was running to the net, and so was Dalton. She was trying to get in. He was trying to get out. <laughs> no balls, two strikes now. There he comes. Pops out and up to the first baseman. Brett Pierce makes the final out. So right now, Deer Creek is up. Three to nothing on Benton. We'll be right back. Manasco's Body Shop, located on Old Highway 16 in Yazoo City, will take care of all your collision repairs and painting needs. They have a lifetime guarantee on all of their work. Check out their new paintless dent repair and free estimates. They accept all insurances and will even help filing your claim. Go by and see Chris. He treats everyone like family. Had some of them today. The Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Love. And I hopped up and hit Bryce on the shoulder. Mm. Got Braden Smith on the mound, Bo right behind the plate. Feel like I've had supper now. Boiled peanut, popcorn, and my dessert, vanilla wafer. Vanilla, vanilla wafer, not vanilla, just vanilla. N-I-L-L-A. Vanilla. -L -L vanilla wafer. Starting off the inning for the Raiders, number three, Ethan Shanks. Now, it's the up to bat. Ball outside. I like to froze the death of Central Holmes the other night. Had them shorts and t shirt just like this. Where? Well, Central Holmes. I heard you. You kept trying to get Kenny to go crank the truck. One on one account, yeah. I'm about to freeze the dead out. That's the second time you've done that. I know it. I know it. Chase hit the third baseman. He feels it. Flips it over the first in time for the first out. Went up to, uh, That's Grant Tolliver on third base. Oh, good God, it was cold that night. And Mark comes that on shorts. And they put us on top of the damn press box. And that north wind was blowing. And it was a 
dead north wind. We was up there, it looked like a hundred foot off the field. Got it. It, it had a big bank and then the tall press box. Oh, about now, number six, Waylon DeWitt. Oh, oh here's a hard oh. shot down the left field side. Oh, Gonna hold up at one. Anyway. We got a base runner. I was shaking like a dog passing the four-way look wrench. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Up to bat now. A good hit by number 19, Dalton Robles. Coming up to bat now, number two, Bryce Abels. I want to see somebody take it up in Mark Street. What happened? I got a hair on me. He tried to. He kind of broke it in there just in time. Missed him by just a skosh, Wayne. Ball one. That would hit him in the knee. Oh, like to hit the coach right between the eyes. Through all the kids. They faster than they look, ain't they? One on one, the count. <laughs> oh, Wayne. We might have a game Saturday after prom. Saturday after prom. Saturday after prom. I understood that when are we playing. Oh, I don't know. Foul ball. I'm just, yeah, I'm saying all the rain that's going to be this week. It's possible to have a game Saturday at Humphreys after the prom. After the boys have been out dancing all night. Yeah. Oh, that old tomfoolery. One ball, two strikes. Ooh, look, you should have seen us after. One ball, two strikes to Bryce Abels. People mean them first and second. A little low. Two two to count now. He done slung her up in the coach over there. He done took out from, both dugouts. From Deer Creek. That's up in Arcola, Mississippi. Arcola. If y'all don't know where Deer Creek is at. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It could be people from all around the world. What? Hey, I'm I'm worldwide, baby. <laughs> you on the internet, ain't you? Prestige worldwide. Probably three. <laughs> three and two. Full high. How'd it go? I hate it. He didn't call that pitch yet. It was on the white line. <laughs> Ball four. Base is loaded. Loads them up for Cowboy. Number 10, Garrett Vandiver. Here's the pitch. Toss it back to the pitcher. He's going to get it. Oh! Well, it's going to leave a mark on the scoreboard. <laughs> to a one. They'd like to hit the umpire right between the eyes, you see? Craig couldn't have made a call if he had to. He was ducking. <laughs> I got 13 people. I got 13 fans. Up to watch, uh, watch, watch now. Oh, to bat now, number nine, Brett Pierce, our first baseman. Yeah, but I'll have a whole lot more views. Tell everybody to go home and watch it. Everybody's here. Hitting right in the hitting right in the butt tops. Hitting right in the butt tops. Oh, to bat now, number fifteen, Wes Melton.
Base is loaded. One away. Hits to the first baseman. He's going to try to get him out of home, but he wasn't going to make that one. So he goes back to first base. He did get the RBI. Makes the second out. Up to bat now, number 27, Colin McCain. Oh, yeah. They won, huh? No. That's second place, right? Oh. First place is old. It's the right one to McCain. He played good. Hey. First time he hit the bat the other day, he hit a triple. You could, you could leave a message. Yeah. One on one to count. Yeah, you could have left a man. Yeah, you, you can leave messages. A comment. You going to take her message later? I can't believe you can't see it. I can't, I can't see it. Oh, because you're not on YouTube. You're on YouTube. Right, I'm on huddle. Oh, hey. here's it to the second. Oh, good job by the second baseman. Got another run in. No, no, I didn't get it in. Good job by Luke Ray to get over there and get that ball. We got a three to three ball game again. We got a new game. Three to three after one. Hey, we'll be right back. Fresh fruits and more. A retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables, seasonal plants, and gifts. And they bring in new inventory every week. For all of your deer processing needs, it's the Rack Shack. Both businesses are family owned and operated, and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door. Go Raiders from everyone at Gore's Country Market and the Rack Shack. Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. All right, Deer Creek, you're back at the top of the lineup. Braden Smith, the pitcher, is up to bat. Lead-off guy. And the first pitch from Shanks. Just a little low ball one. Got some Eucharisms. Some Eucharisms. Here's the pitch. Just a tad low. Just a tad dugan low. It looked good though, didn't it? That one was outside. I wasn't trying to hit you. Yeah, the pitch, you're going to strike. Eddie, you owe me another burger. That's a standing bet. Three and oh. I said, you're going to call it a strike. We, we got a burger bet on it every time. She don't know about it. Oh, nice hit by Braden Smith. Right back up the middle. He stung it. 
That's going to bring Layton Allen. Up to the number 36, Layton Allen. Runner on first. A little high ball one. Woo! Nice pitch. One and one is the count now. One one pitch on the way. Pulls it to left field. Cullen McCain going after it. He makes the catch. And Braden Smith will go back to first base. Nice job by McCain. Bo Ray. Up to bat now on the catcher, number 10, Bo Ray. First pitch is outside, ball one. Uh oh, Lily, Lily chimed in. What'd she say? She said, "Hey, Dad, love you, love you too, Lily." Aww. I can see it now. I know it. I don't never. That's why. <laughs> Three and O's count now. He ain't gonna swing here to cheeseburger at her. Now, woo! I'm gonna be so full eating all them burgers you owe me. <laughs> Wayne, I'm gonna give you one. I might, might give you two. A Mac Raider. Oh, nice hit. Peyton, Peyton McGraw gets over and makes the catch. And throws it to first. Stepped on the bag, three away. Nice job by Peyton McGlone to get over there and make that catch. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> that was a good hit. Oh, I'm scared to death. <laughs> Send it to me. <laughs> Amber Martin said, yep, she put the verse on there. Good job, Amber. But what is it all about? At Bank of Yazoo, we believe that common sense makes for better banking. That's why we've taken our array of checking accounts and simplified them for you, boiling down features and benefits to create our new you, achieve you, benefit you, and protect you checking accounts. Ready to discover how simple is better? Talk with us today. Bank of Yazoo, Bank of You. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.
Friday morning and then Friday evening what I got I couldn't get him with over the family day. Oh, to bat now, number 23, Clayton Saxton. Oh, it hit him. Take it off, boy. Let's go. It's going to bring up the leadoff batter now, number three, Ethan Shanks. Five ball, strike one. We shared it all over Facebook. She was going to be okay. Just, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around. She wasn't going to make it. Uh, Kelly posted on Facebook at dinner time. She said, uh, ball one. She needed to make this post after Christmas post yesterday, but her sister died this morning. Try to get some little. He's leaning. He's leaning. I knew he was gone. Hey, good job right there. Come on, Clayton. Get there. Get there. Come on. Clayton Saxon looks like a runaway mule out there. Stops on third. Runner ought to go second because he interfered with him. He couldn't ever make the turn. He's giving it to him. Trying to, trying to get a runner for the pitcher, I thought. Oh, to bat now, number six, Waylon DeWitt. Hit it hard down the third baseline earlier. I need to take it to Mark Street out there, Wayne. Yeah. So that, so that big, that's Mark Street, right, John? That was a good job by uh, Shanks not to get out. Still second base. Miss Shannon would tell him, pay attention. Swing and a miss, strike two. <laughs> All right, no balls. Two strikes to Waylon DeWitt. It don't take but one. He got him. Curve ball come breaking right in there. Coming up to bat now, number 19, Don Robles. Here's a pitch. Five ball, strike one. Runners on second, third, scoring position. That's a more comfortable chair, but you can't see third base real good, can you? Come on, I got you. I'm gonna help you. <laughs> Hit it yeah. as a tweener. Come on, make your turn what you gonna do, man. Good hit by Robles. Score run. That's two one. There's only one was scored, ain't it? Yeah. I, I was talking to Wayne. I was talking amongst myself. I get confused sometimes. I have myself confused. I was having an out of body experience. Oh my god, staff meeting. A staff meeting. That bite at the bat now, Bryce Abels. Ow, it hit him. You all right? Well, it's not a hit him. <laughs> I'm okay. Dalton Robles still second. Two balls. No strikes.
Oh, good shot between second and third. I mean, second and first. Uh-oh, got to play at the plate. I said he got on him. He's safe. Good hustle by Robles. Good hit by Abels. He did. He tagged him on his head, but his hand was all still up under him. Ball one to Garrett Vandiver. Bryce Abel's on first. He's gone. Ball two. Abel's still second. He gets to go to third for some reason. Oh, fake tag. You can't fake tag. He didn't mean to, but we'll take it. The second baseman. Strike one. Ball low. Three balls, one strike, one out, one runner on third. And that is Mr. Bryce Abels. Here's the pitch. Ow, oh, inside, ball four. That will take a base on balls. Yeah, that's what you call Bob. Base on balls. Yeah, he gets to take first base on balls. Four balls. Up well, to bat now, number nine, first baseman, Brett Pierce. Vandiver still second base on the first pitch. But he's got to go back because it's a foul ball. So no ball with one strike. He didn't check his runner. He'll check it this time. Oh. <laughs> his right foot hit him right behind the ear when when he's stuck. Hey, he's hustling now. I gotta say that. So Vanderbilt does still second. Pierce chops one. It's a slow roller. Oh. Uh, another run come across. He knocked two runs in and he's safe at first. How do we do it? Score now eight to three. I can't <laughs> So coach is gonna call a timeout and have he got to talk to his guys. I, I understand. On commercial, the commercial in The Nasco's Body Shop, located on Old Highway 16 in Yazoo City, will take care of all your collision repairs and painting needs. They have a lifetime guarantee on all of their work. Check out their new paintless dent repair and free estimates. They accept all insurances and will even help filing your claim. Go by and see Chris. He treats everyone like family. The 
Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Fresh fruits and more, a retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables seasonal plants and gifts and they bring in new inventory every week for all of your deer processing needs it's the rack shack both businesses are family owned and operated and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door go raiders from everyone at gore's country market and the rack shack All right, we've got a new pitcher coming in now, number 10, Bo Ray. Uh, oh, I just want to tell, I'll say to Amber, Amber, you are exactly right. But, um, not sure how, every time we play, I'm going to have a different Bible verse. And it's going to be associated with something. I can't really say too much, but yes, you're exactly right. He said, uh, to me it means they shall all be strong in faith and grace and give God the glory. Exactly. Win or lose in everything we do. First pitch from Bo Ray. It's a little outside. It looked pretty good to me. It would. Glasses on, Mark. Oh, we got them on. That's the problem. With the glasses. I, yeah, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't see way down there with my glasses on. There it is. Inside. Ball two. <laughs> yeah, ball two. Two balls, no strikes. No, oh, that was inside. Jimmy seventy. So she didn't have him when she was ten. Oh, I'm still alive. Three balls, no strike. There's, there's another cheeseburger. I'm going to get one now. McGrader. That's four cheeseburgers. That's four of them. Oh, nice hit. Oh, I thought he was going to catch that one. That was a good hustle, though, by the left fielder. That is Leighton Allen. I thought he was going to catch it. He one-hopped it and threw the man out at second. That was a great job. Great hit by Wes Melton. Up to bat now, number 27, Cullen McCain. Uh, there's two away. Two away. Here's the pitch. 
It'll be a pass ball. West Mountain will advance to second on a pass ball. Yeah. Ball two. I thought she was older than that. Oh, good. That's a good pick off. Maybe we get back in time, though. Yep. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Uh, that's Coach Marta's wife. Said, thank you for going live when I can't be there. Yes, ma'am, any time. We're here, we're here for you day or night. Sorry you couldn't be here. Thank you for supporting our Raiders. Yes, ma'am. Well, she's not supporting our Raiders. She's watching her dear Creek Warriors. <laughs> That's Coach Marta's wife. Oh, that's our coach's wife. Oh, that's our coach's wife? Yes. Oh, I don't even know the coach's name. Y'all got me jacked up. Lord, no. <laughs> I'm jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> on Mountain Dew. I didn't, what's, what's the count? Three and one. <laughs> Y'all got me messed up. Oh, that's his wife. Okay. Oh, base hit down the right field side. And that's going to bring the run in, I do believe. A double for McCain. Bring the run in. I'm sorry, Miss Amber. I didn't know. I didn't know Coach's last name. <laughs> I didn't know who she was. You just making up stuff. Yeah. That's why I got a belly. It ain't beer. Up to bat now. <laughs> Number 23, Clayton Saxton. I like yeah. to eat. Two away. Runner in scoring position. Need to bring him in. Good job by Hayden Smith to keep that ball in front of him. Ball one. Man, he got on George. Inside, strike one. One one to count. Oh, okay. He snort. Way to watch. Look. I would say something. He wanted to go for that one. He wanted to go for it. Being the same way. Oh, I know. They want to be tight. Where is short? Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Too many people telling me what to do. <laughs> and he catches strike three for the third out. Mm -hmm. So after two complete, the Raiders are up nine to three. We'll be right back. Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. At 
Bank of Yazoo, we believe that common sense makes for better banking. That's why we've taken our array of checking accounts and simplified them for you, boiling down features and benefits to create our new you, achieve you, benefit you, and protect you checking accounts. Ready to discover how simple is better? Talk with us today. Bank of Yazoo, bank of you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Strike one. Second pitch, fouls it straight back, strike two. No balls, two strikes. Watch this curveball, Joe. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't care too much. It hit him. That's, that's why I don't pay attention to the expiration date. But that's just, they have to put that on there because of the government. That's right. Just to say, okay, you got to throw this way. It's expired. It's still getting good. It's good. Unless it's milk. Well, you yeah, can, no, I'm not unless. Yeah. Yeah. You stir it up a little more. Stir it all back up. High fly ball is going to be out of play to the right side. Well, Bill says good or bad. You take the lid off, smell it. You tell when it's bad. Hey, Joe. No in between. When you, when you go back down the veranda, yeah. peanuts. Hayden Smith steps back in. <laughs> two two. Hits to the third baseman. Vanderbilt picks it up. Ah. Hayden Smith gets a double off of an error, a throwing error. Number 15, Grant Tolliver. At the bat now, number 15, Grant Tolliver. Why are you throwing at me? Here's the pitch. Outside. Ball one. Are we working up here? What a water count. Pitch. Hit to the second baseman. Come on, boy. Ah. Couldn't get it out of the glove. It's stuck in that old wet dirt. Run advance to third. Got Ronald on first and third now. No out. Coming up to bat now on the center fielder number two, Zeb Woolley. Now batting number two, Zeb Woolley. So I got to keep them straight. Oh, he got hit in the eye last time. Ball one. Bo. Pitch. Yeah. 
I go and give him a run. <laughs> ah, throw it down the first. Don't get him. You miss it and throw it home while y'all saw it. I got a run off of it. Two balls, no strikes, no outs. Four to nine. Here we go. Strike one. Finally got us a strike on the board. Two ones account. Right up to the hole. No outs. Runners on first and third now. Let's go, Raiders! Coming up to bat now, second baseman Luke Ray. Number 13, Luke Ray. My job. <laughs> he went. Strike one. Runner back. Uh, still second. Yeah, strike. Yeah, he went for it. Foul ball. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Right back to the pitcher. Uh huh. He, he held him at first. I mean, he held him at third. That's a great job by Ethan Shanks right there to hold that runner. You know what? That was a good job right there. Well, he was just trying to get him off of him because this man was trying to run. Up well, to bat now, number 11, John Fur. <laughs> it ain't ever too late, ball one. <laughs> Strike one. I knew it. One one to count. Foul ball, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Pitch in the dirt. Good job by Robles. Keep in front of him. Two two to count now. Two balls, two strikes, two runners. Five ball. Count still two and two. Here's the pitch. Fouls off again. He's hanging in there at number 11, John Fur. Outside. What we got? We got a house. Three two pitch. He got him. I couldn't, I couldn't tell. 
Now batting number seven, Joseph Terry. But about now, number seven, Joseph Terry. Two away. Foul ball down to the left side. No, he can't see. I can't see. He had the best angle. No ball with one strike. Pitch. No ball with two strikes. If it is two outs. Here's the pitch. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That'll do it. So after two and a half, the score is nine to four. Ben Raiders on top. We'll be right back. Lenasco's Body Shop, located on Old Highway 16 in Yazoo City, will take care of all your collision repairs and painting needs. They have a lifetime guarantee on all of their work. Check out their new paintless dent repair and free estimates. They accept all insurances and will even help filing your claim. Go by and see Chris. He treats everyone like family. Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Guess who's starting off the end for the Raiders? Our leadoff guy, number three. What's his name? Ethan Shanks. I love it when a plan comes together. What show did it come off of? No, this is the bottom of the third, ma'am. That was a nice pitch. Nice Woo, yeah. Come on in there with that. He's falling off the mound with it. Set a little inside. He, well, he did like that. I don't know if I was lower inside, but it was a ball. One, one. On the corner. Out here on the corner. <laughs> I knew I could get on saying over here. One ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two. Yeah, I'm going to go out too. Mentally drained from today. <laughs> them, them, them golf hands I got. Outside. Like herding kitty cats. Like herding turtles, ain't it? We got a house. What we got? Got a whole house. Echo, echo, echo. We got a man. We got a ball. <laughs> he gonna take base on balls. Coming up about now, center fielder, number six, Waylon DeWitt.
Checks it, runner. Delivers. Bar one. It's just a skosh. Not that much. <laughs> Uh -oh. Foul ball, strike one. Oh, uh, I seen you coming in. I said, dang, Joe brought me a Mountain Dew. I want him some water. I know you had it in your pocket. Shane's look like he wants to go. And he will on a pass ball. Two and one now. No board meeting tonight. Good. Should have got a text. I don't know if you added to it. Next, right. next Monday. Swing and a miss, strike two. I, I said, we have any boards in the She said, no, I don't have any. She spent all weekend at ball field, so she, did, she usually comes up on Sunday evening to get everything prepared. Two, two to count to Wayland DeWitt. Run on second. Curveball. Got him. For the first out. Great pitch by. Number 10, Bo Ray there. Going to bring up number 19, Dalton Robles. Think of that ball one. Oh one, I mean one and oh is count. That's outside ball two. Shane to give him a good lead on second. That's pitch. One of them behind the back trick, man. Brush him up over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Three and O to count now. I wonder if he got the green light. Editor, they had the green light. Ball four. If he did, it wasn't one to hit. Coming up to bat now, number two, Bryce Abels. Wayne, figure she knows what the green light is. Smart. Little helper in the car. You seen that? <laughs> Come on, get the guy, the wife in the car. And says, Ever since I got married, I got a little helper in the car. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't a strike. I didn't have my glasses now. That was a ball. It almost hit his bat, though. Telling, well, telling me when to stop, when to turn right. Oh, yeah. One, seen that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One ball, no strike. Two ball, no strike. There's one that goes to Bryce Abel. Policeman pulling him over, and he goes, Well, I'm sorry, sir, but I don't have my little helper in the car today. <laughs> <laughs> but I promise I'm going to go nowhere without her. Tell you about it, about the IRS and the CEO of the hospital. Oh, uh, you have to tell me on our next break. Two balls, no strikes. It's pitch. Bryce <laughs> said he ain't taking nothing. 
Three and O to count now. Not today, Jimbo. Squared the bunt. Hit that cheeseburger head of gold me. Yep, that's another one. Five cheeseburgers now, Mark. Connor and Clayton, we all gonna get to eat good tonight. I'm gonna share with everybody. Right. Ball four. Evan's just gonna get the money from Wayne anyway. <laughs> Got them cheeseburgers and shows, Mark. I said, we're gonna all get to eat good tonight. Me and you and Connor and Clayton. Joe said, don't matter she's gonna get the money from Wayne anyway. But about now, number 10, Garrett Vandiver, one away. We can't do our Bases are loaded. Well that yeah. Where are you going, Wayne? Ball one, a little low. Big lead on second over there. Base here to get him in. Yeah, hey, strike one. That was a strike. That was a nice one, wasn't it? Hit the pitch. Just a little inside. Two one two and one to count. <laughs> He's gonna be reaching across me. Yeah. Pitch. Foul ball, strike two. <laughs> two and two to count. You say Wayne choking somebody down there, Joe? I don't see him choking nobody. I don't know where he's getting. He might have to go to the bathroom. Choking that TV. Oh, get your bat down. It almost hit that bat. Three balls, two strikes, one out. What we got? A house. Got a house. They were paying attention, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're saving all the world problems. Probably talking about the eclipse and all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to fall right in. A little off the handle here, but it worked. Yeah, works. yeah, it worked. That's what you call a Texas leaguer, Edda what you call a Texas leaguer. Leaguer. Texas league. Just, just a little right over the infield like that. Just a little Texas leaguer. Score now, 10 to 4. Edda said you go, you go right and then turn left the rest of the time. Brett Pierce up to bat now. Ooh, he, he, <laughs> he bowed up. He, he bowed up on it. He was ready. He done green. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he done greeted them people a bit. No ball. I mean, one ball, no strikes. Oh, foul ball. Now we got a strike. One ball, one strike, one out. Three runners on. Oh. It turned just a little too much. Pierce digs in, 2-1 pitch, on the way. 
Strike two. Thought it went around. Even with, even if it did go all the way around, I believe it was a strike anyway. I'm like you. I thought that was a pretty good pitch there. That was a good pitch. Two two pitch. A little bit high up in his eyes. He was ready to swing, though, you see. Oh, yeah, he's ready. He got to be moving on the, on the arm motion. That's right. We got a house. But that don't mean you got to swing. That's right. Uh oh. He got him, too. He got him. I seen it. I can see it from here. Stay back. But he got him. Got a little lax over there. Yep. Shaw did. Gonna be moving on the pitch right here. Well, that was a pitch they could be moving on, too. You know what? That was a 3 2 pitch, two outs. Everybody's gonna be moving. Mm -hmm. A smart move by the pitcher. Yeah. That's a good move. Bryce Abel said, not today. And a pitch. Right in the buttocks. <laughs> That's going to bring up our D8. Number 15, Wes Melton. That's going to be out of play. He got his eye on it. No balls. One strike. Breaking ball. A little high. A little high. How high was it, Joe? A little high. Skosh. Just a skosh. Just a tidbit skosh. Yeah. Oh. Foul ball, strike two. Did it hit the umpire in the face mask or did it hit the catch in the face? Hit somebody in the face mask. They call timeout for the yeah, well, they try to let them recuperate, you know. That's correct. Recuperate. Regenerate. Rejuvenate. <laughs> Are y'all talking about the solar eclipse over there? Yep. Uh huh. I got something to tell y'all. You can enjoy this being in the medical field. Wait till I go to commercial. <laughs> pitch! That was a good pitch. <laughs> yeah, it was a good pitch. I was, I was wondering what it was going to call it. After three complete, score of 10 to 4, Ben Academy will be right back. Fresh fruits and more, a retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables, seasonal plants, and gifts. And they bring in new inventory every week. For all of your deer processing needs, it's the Rack Shack. Both businesses are family owned and operated, and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door. Go Raiders from everyone at Gore's Country Market and the Rack Shack.
Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. Bank of Yazoo, we believe that common sense makes for better banking. That's why we've taken our array of checking accounts and simplified them for you, boiling down features and benefits to create our new you, achieve you, benefit you, and protect you checking accounts. Ready to discover how simple is better? Talk with us today. Bank of Yazoo, Bank of You, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. All right, we got a new pitcher on the mound for the Raiders, number two, Bryce Abels. And it looks like Braden Smith will be leading off for the Warriors. I'm not going to say Cougars, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> I, I saw the D.C. on his hat. It's easy to get your mind mixed up. Now number three, Braden Smith. <coughs> Got a good hit a while ago. A while, a while ago. Why would say that? A while ago. Right. A while ago. First pitch from Abel's is in the dirt. Ball one. Uh-huh. I told you it was 10 years off. Well, they just call it in 10. I knew she... I knew it wasn't. Hey, when you said he was 70, she didn't have any Right. I mean, they have young, but not that Uh-oh. Good job by Ethan Chase. Catch a little line drive right there. Now, batting number 36, Layton Allen. What about now? Layton Allen. For the Warriors. Hit to Saxon. Feels it cleanly. Throws it to first. Got him out of first. It was real close. A good hustle by Allen. Number 10, Bo Ray. Coming up to bat now, number 10, the pitcher, Bo Ray. Pitch. He said he went. Strike one. That's going to be outside. One on one to count now. One ball, one strike, one. Oh. Two strikes, two outs.
One ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. One outside in the dirt. Two, two, two. Got a house. Hits the shortstop. Oh, it took a bad hop on it. Can't pick it up out of the dirt. Bo Ray will reach first base. Now batting number 24, Hayden Smith. What about now number 24, Hayden Smith? Takes the runner, delivers. It's close, but he got him. I got back in time. Ball one. Pitch. Fouls off. Third base side. If he would have been ready the soon, I mean, he could have got him. Fouls it off. One, two to count. One ball, two strikes. His pitch. Files straight back. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Hit to the shortstop. Sacks the field. It. Throws it to first. Not in time. Man's going to run a third. Safe over there. Now we got runners on first and third. And that's going to bring up number 15, Grant Tolliver. For the Warriors. Guy on first is going to go on the first pitch. Bryce holds him on. Bryce knows he's going. Hey, we're going to throw it. They didn't want to score that run. Oh, I forgot. There's somebody on third. Ball one. I can't think of that ball right One ball, no strikes. <laughs> turn that AC off. I'll turn you want to turn it off. Two balls. <laughs> that middle button. Right up on the sixty. <laughs> Three ball, no strike. <clears throat> it must be something about that solar eclipse, got everybody look. Sassy today. My smart talking of him. He ain't gonna swing. That's another cheeseburger you made. <laughs> Eddie. Uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> three balls, one strike. So Tolliver will take his base on balls. Up to bat now, number two, Zeb Woolley. 
Oh, yeah, there you go. I quit talking about the man's haircut. That's my haircut. <laughs> That's Bryce's haircut. No, it ain't. Hit the third baseman, Vandiver picks it up. Throws it to first, and he misses. Gonna be another score. <laughs> Yeah, they scored too. Here we go. What's that white snake song? Here we go again. <laughs> At our home. Now batting number 13, Luke Ray. We always have one of these innings. Dang it. <laughs> Strike one. Tell you. This in it's harder to get that third out than it was to get the flu in COVID season. Ho, oh, he hits it over. Shanks is going back. Oh, he makes the catch. Good job by Shanks. He holds on to it. Three away. Somebody said he dropped that. No, he didn't drop it. He dropped pass. So, after three and a half, the Raiders are up. Ten to six. The Nasco's Body Shop, located on Old Highway 16 in Yazoo City, will take care of all your collision repairs and painting needs. They have a lifetime guarantee on all of their work. Check out their new paintless dent repair and free estimates. They accept all insurances and will even help filing your claim. Go by and see Chris. He treats everyone like family. Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. That must be 48. Hold about now, number 27, Colin McCain. Bo Ray still on the mound. November 20th. First pitch is in the dirt. Ball one. What is that? One on one to count. I know I tried to throw the garbage right here. I missed. Foul ball, strike two. It's the scorekeeper and the announcer's job to throw the garbage away. 
strike three. Got him looking for the first out. Up to bat now is Clayton Nicker wearing Saxton. Looks like wearing golf knickers, don't it? Knickers. I thought it was called Knickers. Swing and a miss. Strike one. I almost got him, but he was too quick. Ball two. Oh. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Come on, baby. You got it. Let's go. Two balls, two strikes, one away. Swing and a miss. Strike three. For the second out. What about now, number three, our leadoff, Ethan Shanks. Mm -hmm. First pitch to Shanks. Breaking ball, ball one. Pitch has a strike. Hey, if y'all were batting, what would y'all make y'all walk out song? <laughs> I've heard that song somewhere before. Ball two. Now both of y'all can't have that. Who come up with it first? You? Who come up? I was just singing. Oh, what would your walk out song be? Three and one. Well, we got about three more innings. Three and a half. Just a skosh outside, ball four. <laughs> Coming up to bat now, number six, Waylon DeWitt. About now, number six, Waylon DeWitt. Look at Shanks. He looks like he's ready to go. Mm -hmm. And throw it at him. He got him, too. He sure got him. Put the glove right in front of his hand. Great throw. Great tag. I was looking right at it for the third out. So, after four complete now, score is 10 to 6. Ben Academy, we'll be right back. Fresh Fruits and More, a retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables, seasonal plants, and gifts. And they bring in new inventory every week. For all of your deer processing needs, it's the Rack Shack. Both businesses are family owned and operated, and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door. Go Raiders from everyone at Gore's Country Market and the Rack Shack. Since 2007, Bill and Lynn Coleman have been sending the smell of perfectly cooked steaks wafting through Benton, courtesy of Coleman Steakhouse. Start your weekend off the right way by heading that direction and enjoying a perfectly cooked ribeye, 
filet, pork chop, or anything on their menu, including burgers, chicken, or catfish. Why not make your steak dinner a surf and turf by adding shrimp? Go Raiders from everyone at Coleman Steakhouse on Highway 16 in Benton. New pitcher on the mound for the Raiders, number 19, Dalton Robles. And we got a new uh, batter coming in. Yeah, what's his name? Now batting number five, Bryce Poole. Number five, Bryce Poole. In the fifth inning here, top of the fifth. First pitch is fouled off to the right side for strike one. They just come in and bat for someone. Okay. So what's the difference between this and the pitch? Ethan Shane calls him off, makes the catch for the first out. A designated hitter hit. Number seven, Joseph Terry. A designated hitter hits in that same spot every time. But a pinch hitter, he just comes in for that one bat. Up to bat now, Joseph Terry. Strike one. Oh, my. How are we watching? Two strikes. What are y'all watching over there? I got me messed up. No balls, two strikes to Terry. Robles delivers 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball. Starts it down the middle, but it breaks out too far. All right, now we're ready. Ow, oh, that's going to hit him. Oh, my God. Is this the same batter? Now batting number three, Braden Smith. Up to bat now is the leadoff, number three, Braden Smith.
just a skosh inside. Ball one. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike one. Nice pitch by Robles. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes. To Braden Smith. A hey, tomahawk's out one out of bound. I mean, out of play. Out of bound. I was just thinking, I called it. That boy's a good basketball player. Yeah. I called his name a lot in basketball. Remember him? Braden Smith, Bo Ray. <laughs> different costume. Yeah. Different, <laughs> different makeup. Yeah. Definitely some makeup. Ow. Foul ball. And I bet it'd be a lot different from football pass, too. I bet he was a running back. Oh, what a what a curveball! Strike three. Now batting number thirty-six, Layton Allen. What about now, number thirty-six, Layton Allen? Man, were those speakers loud the other night at Central Homes? Oh, <laughs> Strike one. Hey, I said the bleachers have one on each side of me. Fouls out and off, strike two. Come on, Dalton. You know what I said? I said, y'all going to make me lose my mind. Up in oh, here, yeah. up in here. Yeah. Boy, it was so loud. Swing and a miss, right three for the third out. So after four and a half, scores 10 to 6, Bitten Academy. We'll be right back. At Bank of Yazoo, we believe that common sense makes for better banking. That's why we've taken our array of checking accounts and simplified them for you, boiling down features and benefits to create our new you, achieve you, benefit you, and protect you checking accounts ready to discover how simple is better talk with us today bank of yazoo bank of you member fdic and equal housing lender Up to bat now, number six, Waylon DeWitt. I was just checking out these these uh, ladies' knowledge on one hit wonders. I was asking, do they know who's saying? Come on, Eileen. Was it two balls? No, that's Dex's midnight. Dex's midnight runners. Foul ball. Strike one. He pulled it hard down that left field side. 
goes out of bounds. Foul ball, out of bounds, out of play, whatever you want to call it. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> two and two to count now. Come on, Holly, hit me with a nut. I know you're thinking. That's Pat Benatar. He right to the first baseman for the first out. It's going to bring up number 19, Dalton Robles. Doing our music trivia. All right, who sang, uh, hold on. Hits a hard third baseman. He fills it cleanly. Throws it over. Hits the dirt. First baseman scoops it up for the second out. I'm going to bring up Bryce Abels. I'm going to give him another ball. That's probably a little wet. Uh, who sang the song? I'm too sexy for my shirt. Oh so my sexy God. it hurt. <laughs> you got it. That is ball one. This is an A and B conversation. You can see your way out. <laughs> Ooh! He finally wore it. He didn't mean to, but he did. <laughs> Gonna bring up number ten, Gary Vanderbilt. Hey, you know I always say this is Mark Saxon, I'm out. After such a home, I said this is Mark Saxon and I am frozen. <laughs> I ain't lying. <laughs> I was like Elsa or Anna. Five ball. Yeah. Strike one. That's why you never let Elsa hold your birthday balloons. Because she's going to let them go. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Ooh! <laughs> one and one! Well, pick off the first base. It was kind of slow, but he got back plenty of time. Oh, that's Rock Rockwell. <laughs> the ball's gonna fall in play. Get your butt back on that base, boy. Way to move him around. Well, hit ball to left field. Thought you had me, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Up to bat now, number nine, Brett Pierce. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll get you a good one. Uh-oh, oh, oh, got him. Nice move. For the third out, had two runners on. So after five complete, the score is still 10 to 6. We'll be right back.
All right, starting off the inning, number 10, now Bo Ray. Number 10, Bo Ray. For the Warriors. Robles on the mound. First pitch, a little bit low. Excuse me. Ball one. Oh, some of it could have been. Two balls, no strikes. You see it? Foul ball. They could have come through Jackson. They filmed it up in the Delta somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three and one to count now. Huh? Oh, yeah. Across South East Louisiana. Fouls it off. We got a house. Hey, it's really a, a good movie. Nice pitch. Still got a full house. Got a house. Three two pitch on the way. Hits the shortstop. Flips the first. For the first out. Nice hard hit ball right there by Bo Ray. What about now, number 24, Hayden Smith? Ball one. Lou Vega. <laughs> Got her again. What do you do? Like study yourself? Never know what might come in handy. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of music, but that ain't you on your page and cheese. Foul ball, strike one. One ball, one strike, one out. Robles gives a signal. Kick, delivers, outside. Two and one to count. <laughs> That's up around the chest area. Oh, he's that one hard in left field. One hopper hits the wall. That's going to be a stand-up double for Tolliver. Nice job. I mean, that's Hayden Smith. Now batting number 15, Grant Tolliver. Coming up to bat now is Grant Tolliver. Who think too shy? Nice pitch, strike one. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike two. No ball, two strikes. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him a minute to think. <whistles> oh, swung and missed, but I hit him. So it's going to be a foul ball. Ouch. I hope it hit the bat, not his hand. 
O2 is a count. Still. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Strike three for the second out. Up to bat, number two, Deb Woolley. Up to bat now, number two, Zeb Woolley. Swing and a miss, strike one. In yeah, out, in yeah. out. What? <laughs> What's she guess? I don't, I don't have one. I have oh. Strike two. Come on, get him right here, Rylan. Kaja Gugu. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody out there somewhere, I bet, knows it. Yeah. Right three for the third out. Got him looking. At the five and a half, Raiders still lead, 10 to six. We'll be right back. Manasco's Body Shop, located on Old Highway 16 in Yazoo City, will take care of all your collision repairs and painting needs. They have a lifetime guarantee on all all of their work. Check out their new paintless dent repair and free estimates. They accept all insurances and will even help filing your claim. Go by and see Chris. He treats everyone like family. Benton Academy Booster Club is proud to support all Benton Academy athletics. They are proud to have teamed up with loyal Raider fans raising funds for, among other things, weight room equipment for boys and girls sports, new scoreboards, and a new time clock on the football field. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Booster Club or would like to donate to help with any future projects involving athletics at Benton, contact the high school. Go Raiders from the Benton Academy Booster Club. Starting off the inning for the Raiders, number nine, our first baseman, Brett Pierce. I couldn't hear. Mm. <laughs> nice job, Edda. Ball one. He didn't either. Strike one. Y'all saying Bobby Mandrell now. <laughs> it's hard to get me on music. Older music. Strike two. I saw that one. Is that a country song? Yeah. A new country? I don't know it. Yeah, I don't know any new country. I don't watch new country. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know who that is. I know he got arrested for throwing a chair off top of something. something else. Oh, the bat now, number 15, West Melton. So I don't listen to any new country. Yeah. Hit a third baby, scoops it up, throws it to first. <laughs> it did look like it was off, but we're not going to. What about now, number 27, Colin McCain? Oh. 
messed his hair up. Like what? Philadelphia. That's why you wear a mask. Oh, you all right? Out now. One ball, two strikes now to McCain. Two away. Nobody on. Swing and a miss. Strike three for the third out. Gonna bring up the top of the seventh. Six complete. Ten of six. Bend Academy. We'll be right back. Fresh fruits and more. A retail shop for decor. It's all at Coors Country Market in Denton. They have vegetables, seasonal plants, and gifts. And they bring in new inventory every week. For all of your deer processing needs, it's the Rack Shack. Both businesses are family owned and operated and they take great pride in giving you the best experience you can ask for when you walk through their door. Go Raiders from everyone at Gore's Country Market and the Rack Shack. Right, starting off the inning for the Warriors will be the second baseman, number 13, Luke Ray. Up to bat, number 13, Luke Ray. His Robles throws first. Oh, he misses it. So he's safe on first. That's why you run it out. Oh, uh, Ann Murray. <laughs> I'm not, I thought it was Ann Murray. I know the song. Strike one. Oh, yeah. Swing and a miss, strike two. They have to have four runs here or the game's over. Y'all doing the junior high game? You forgot about that, didn't you? One ball, two strikes to John Furr. I didn't announce him, oh, my bad. John Furr is up to bat. He hits that into right field. Saxton comes in. Makes the catch. What a catch. And throws it by the second. He got it for double play over there. That's got two of them. 
What a job by Clayton Zappin. Good catch. Good catch. That was a good catch, wasn't it? What about now? It's going to number, number seven. Joseph Terry. Terry. I've been working on him, Joe. I see that. Ooh. He's still working. He's like an old man. Ooh. He's talking about me. Oh. Oh. Is it seventh inning or sixth Gage said Morgan Wallace. What? Gage answered your question a while ago. What? Ooh. About Ever him? Huh? Uh, Y'all yeah. ask about something. Uh, Gage said Morgan Wallace. He said, what a double play. He's watching the game. Uh, Off the fifth. Oh, shoot. Had a lot of. A lot of left spin on it. That's going to bring up the leadoff hitter, Braden Smith. Yeah, I know it. That kind of stuck like your sandwich, didn't it, Joe? Woo! It just kind of stuck, didn't it? Well, not mine. Going to advance on us. Pass ball. Go, Robles. You got this, babe. That run don't mean anything. That third out is hard to get sometimes. Yeah, right to him. Bingo. Boy, if he had missed that one, Wayne would have went out there and drop kicked him. Wouldn't have had a. I said, if he'd have missed out, Wayne would have went out there and drop oh, kicked him. Lord. <laughs> for sure. Good job. Good catch right there by Clayton Jackson. Congratulations to the Raiders for winning 10-6 against the Deer Creek Warriors. They played a nice game. Oh, my God. Uh, the JV will be playing next, and Joe Bogan will bring that to you if he wants to. Nah. I don't look like y'all can get to see it then. And we... Uh, we're supposed to have a game Thursday. I know that isn't going to happen. So we're probably going to be, I don't know, they talked about maybe Saturday. Yeah, we'll keep we'll what? update you. Uh, thank you all for updating me. Mm -hmm. Until then, this is Mark Saxon and the rest of the crew. We out. We out. We ain't froze, though. <laughs>